All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the uh, February edition of Pitch Perfect. We just want to cover a quick um, disclosure on forward looking statements for the event. So for Front Funders, uh, February Pitch Perfect event, this presentation may contain forward looking information. There can be no assurance that forward looking information will prove to be accurate as actual results in future events could differ materially from those anticipated in such statements. Accordingly, viewers should not place undue reliance on forward-looking information. All right, we're now going to turn things over to Trung of RISE, uh, RISE being an IoT smart devices company on a mission to bring home automation to the masses with patented retrofit technology. Very excited to have Trung uh, back for his second raise on FrontFunder. So Trung, I'll turn it over to you to uh, kick off your presentation. Perfect. Uh, well, thanks for having me to the FrontFunder community. My name is Trung Pan. I'm the founder and CEO of RISE, an IoT prop tech startup. We create smart devices that convert your window coverings into automated smart shades. Now, uh, we've launched a number of products in the market over the last few years, generating over 5 million in US, US in sales and shipping over 40,000 devices to date, all through e-commerce sales. We also hold a number of patents with six issued and three pending, as well as an Amazon court judgment verdict, which allows us to block, to block the sale of any Capicot sellers on Amazon. Our technology is supported by a $4 million Canadian clean tech grant, where we're able to automate window shades to save energy consumption in the building by blocking solar heat gain and reducing indoor cooling. So uh, what makes our products unique? How are we different from other smart shades in the market today? Well, all of our devices to date embody two traits. One, they have to be retrofit devices, meaning they have to convert your existing window shades into automated smart ones. And this differs from products in the market today where you actually have to buy completely new motorized blinds Second, they have to be affordable. Competing solutions by players like Somfy and Lutron are extremely expensive, costing upwards of $1,000 per window. So we're designing our devices for the masses at a price point of all under $200 per device. And let's take a look at some of our devices. First, we have the Rise Smart Shade, controllable remotely via voice speakers like Google Home, Amazon Alexa, or through our mobile app where you can set schedules and routines. The Rise Smart Shade can be installed in minutes and is compatible with any window shade with a beaded chain. Next, we have the Rise Smart Curtain, which is launching in Q3 of this year. This device is designed to motorize and automate any curtain, whether it runs on a rod or rail. Again, super easy to install and more affordable than replacing your curtains. So what are our growth plans? Well, our growth plans for the year falls into two categories, one new product introduction and two sales. On the product side, we're launching a number of core devices and accessories. First, we have the launch of a Z-Wave adapter, which enables Z-Wave in our devices. And if uh, you guys don't know, Z-Wave is a wireless protocol, uh, similar to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. <clears throat> it's a low, low power, long range system that makes us compatible with a lot more smart home platforms in the market today. As mentioned earlier, we're launching the Smart Curtain in Q3 of this year, opening sales to more households and hotels. Curtains actually represents 20% of all window coverings installed in the market today. And finally, we'll be launching a Smart Blind solution to tilt blinds and shutters. On the sales side, with our Z-Wave adapter, we'll be able to secure partnerships with home and building automation platforms such as Alarm.com, Vivid Home, and Smart Rent. Uh, those three have a combined user base of over 8 million households in the US. We'll also be launching in retail later this year, having secured agreements with Best Buy US and Home Depot Canada, starting first online. And we'll be expanding globally, seeking exclusive distribution partners in Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. So that's it. Thanks again for the time. Um, opening up the floor for any questions you guys might have. Fantastic. Awesome. Thanks for the, the presentation there, Trung. You've, uh, as I mentioned, are now on your second raise with FrontFunder. You raised over kind of 800000 in your last round. So perhaps you could tell investors a little bit about how you were able to, to use those funds and what milestones you were able to achieve since your last campaign on <clears throat> FrontFunder. Yeah. So since the last campaign, um, you saw the Smart Curtain. So the bulk of the, um, the, the funds used was for the development of the Smart Curtain product. Um, so R&D is already completed. We're in the tooling stages right now in uh, early stages to uh, get to production. And uh, as I mentioned, Q3 is when we're going to be launching that product in the market. Um, the second, I would say, bulk of the investment all is also into inventory. So um, we have two batches in production of the Smart Shade. One launches uh, or one will be received this month and the next will be received in May. 
Fantastic. Um, and you you kind of walked us through the the various products that uh, you have there, which is great. Um, perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about the different use cases for your current products um, and uh, what kind of you know partnerships and companies you're currently working with. So um, the product is great today, um, selling to residential households uh, via e-commerce sales. So that's direct to consumer. Uh, but we see that there's going to be a bigger market uh, selling B2B. So hotels is a big one. Um, not only for you know better guest experience, but also for um, in the states it's ADA compliance, disability compliance for public settings where some of the rooms have to have motorized shades, uh, and, and then this expands to other markets like senior housing, assisted living, where you have the elderly, the aging population, that need solutions to help them, you know, be more um, be to, to live more independently in the household. Um, those yeah. are kind of the, the the new markets that we want to target. Um, I see a question here about utilities. Um, very similar similar uh, case when it comes to commercial buildings and energy savings. So um, if you're able to automate the window shades position throughout the day, you're able to optimize um, the amount of light and the amount of cooling required for that room. And if you're able, able to um, lower the shades when it's hot and sunny, you reduce indoor cooling. At the same time, if the weather is cloudy and overcast, you could capture natural daylight by opening the window shades. So all of this plays a hand in hand in the, the commercial office space that we want to target as well. Great. Um, we have a question that's come through as well, just asking since inception, um, what are yearly sales? Uh, yearly sales has been growing about um, 10, 20% a year. But again, this is all online. Um, what I will say is that online only represents about 7% of smart home product revenues. 33% um, of industry revenues is generated through retail, which is, again, the next market. Uh, but the bulk of sales is going to be through B2B. 60% of industry revenues is selling to developers, landlords, these these large volume sales uh, that could be that could deploy our product in, in in you know mass amount of real estate. Great, we've got a few more questions coming through, so definitely want to uh, try to get through some of those. So, um, how well are your existed marketed products uh, patent protected, and in what countries <clears throat> do you hold patents? So, um, this is a question by from David. Um, so, we have six issued patents and three pending filed in Canada, U.S., EU, and China. Um, the first market is obviously the U.S. market that we have patents filed for. Uh, we have some additional filings that we will be pushing in South Korea, Japan, and Australia, um, other markets that we're targeting. Um, again, we don't we don't plan on getting patents in every single country in the world. It's just not financially feasible. We're not Google, we're not Apple. But we do want to target the bulk of the markets, such as Europe and um, the U.S. Um, now, the great thing, as I mentioned during the introduction, was that we have an Amazon court judgment verdict as well, which means if you see any copycat sellers on Amazon, they get booted off within 24 hours once we report them. Um, we're waiting for our European patents to be uh, officially granted. Once they are, then we could do the same thing in Europe. Fantastic. Um, another quick question that just came through. How does the charging of the product work? Does it need to be dismounted and charged or is there a plan to automate that? Um, so there's two charging options. One, you could use the plug and, you know, that's, you know, plugged in forever. Uh, you could hide the wires behind walls or you could use a cable management tool for that. The other one is the battery pack you see there in the second image. Um, the battery pack is removable and rechargeable via USB micro. Just take it off and plug it in and charge it overnight. Uh, what commercial buildings do is they actually buy two battery packs per device and they just swap it out when it dies. Uh, but the batteries do last six to nine months. Fantastic. A um, couple more questions here that I just want to uh, try to get through before we're done on time as well. Um, now, you've been consistently doing kind of North American wide raises, raising in the US and Canada. So one of the questions that's come through from Mark is how much has been raised to date from all channels and uh, what is the current burn rate, if you're comfortable sharing that? Yeah, the current burn rate is just over 100 US per month. Um, okay. We've raised primarily through angels, to be honest, um, $7 million total to raise to date. Um, and that actually gives you a good comparable to companies like Nest, Ecobee, Ring. Um, I think all their Series A rounds were around $20 million. So we're still super early and we're in, in our potential. Um, but the great thing about our product is that there's so many windows out there. So you're not limited to like one doorbell per household or one thermostat per household like the other players. There's just a lot of windows in, in different asset classes of real estate. Fantastic. And uh, well, let's get through uh, one more question here. We've got just what will you be doing with the funds from this raise? Um, the same thing we're, we're doing with all the, all the raises, new product introduction. So the new products we're developing, inventory is a big bucket and sales and marketing. So we'd like to bucket those kind of three um, um, uses of funds for all the funds raised on a rolling basis. Great. So since you guys have worked a lot already kind of on getting the, the smart curtains ready to go, does that mean the primarily the next product will be those uh, smart shades? And then from there, anything beyond that, um, or the smart blinds? Yeah. 
Yes, the smart blind is going to be next, a tilting device. So anything with a wand or shutters that tilt. Um, and that's that's an R&D right now. So right. The, the I would say the thesis or the idea for the company is just to focus on window coverings. There's a lot of windows out there, as I mentioned. Yeah. Um, it's easier for us to sell multiple devices to the same customer rather than trying to push more device, more, more different devices, uh, which is what Nest and Ring had to do um, because there's only so many thermostats you need in a household. But sure. again, you have a lot of windows. And um, another cool point is, 30% of our orders are from repeat customers. So they'll come in, they'll buy one or two units. You know, a couple months later, they'll buy more. A couple months later, they'll buy more. So that's another great benefit of our, our retrofit um, devices. That's fantastic. That gets you a good customer lifetime value there, which is great yeah. to see. So Trung, thank you so much. Really appreciate the, the presentation today. Um, as I said, it's it's great having you back on the platform for a second time. So for anyone who uh, still has questions for, for Trung, recommend that you check out their campaign page. It's frontfunder.com forward slash rise 2023. Um, you can ask Trung any questions uh, directly through the Q&A there. And any that we didn't get to today, we can follow up after the session as well. So Trung, thank you so much for the, the fantastic pitch. Really appreciate it. Um, as we look to, to wrap things up today, really just want to thank everyone for their time. Um, appreciate the attendees tuning in and asking questions, as well as all of our great panelists today. So thank you so much, everyone. Um, for those wanting to, to learn a little bit more about FrontFunder and what it is that we do, so FrontFunder makes it easy for all Canadians to invest in Canada's most exciting startups and growth stage companies from as little as $250. You've seen several exciting startups and growth stage companies here today. So if you have any questions about getting started, uh, you know, visit frontfunder.com. You can always reach out to our support team uh, via email support at frontfunder.com. Give us a call or reach out to us via our chat. So really uh, thank you everyone for your time. Appreciate it. I know there are some questions that we didn't get through today. So I encourage you to reach out to the companies directly um, and or we'll, we'll follow up via email with some responses there. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon.